Okay, in this extension video, uh, we're going to look at how to use the skills we've got already with hyperlinking to make a little quiz. Um, there are ways you can, can use computer programming to make the quiz, um, but there is actually a quick, and <clears throat> not necessarily quick, but an easy way of doing it with hyperlinking. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a slide with a question on and a set of answers. If those answers are correct, they'll go to one slide. If they're incorrect, they'll go to a different slide, and it will bring the person back. So I'm going to start with inserting a text box and then I'm going to put the question on. So the question I'm uh, going to ask is what type animal is a robin? Okay, you can make changes to your styles and all those sorts of things, do what you want there, but what type of animal is a robin? So now I am going to have my slides for correct. So this one's going to say in big letters, correct. I get a picture of a big tick in here. So we'll have this tick. I quite like this tick. Copy that tick and I'll put that on there. Nice big tick. Well done, you got it correct. And then I am going to that slide. I am going to say wrong and I have got on here a big cross so when you get them, Britain's got talent uh, so let's copy that image and pop that in and here's my uh, it's wrong so now I'm going to add some buttons into my first slide so insert shape back to the bottom and I'm going to highlight this one, and I'm going to hyperlink it to. I'm going to hyperlink it to slide, and I'm going to have this one as my correct answer. I can also play a sound, so I'm going to play an applause sound. So where you got it right? So that is my correct answer. I am then going to right-click and add my text on. With edit text, I'm going to put bird. Okay. Now rather than draw another another um, button. I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to paste it onto there next to it and now I'm going to change the writing to a fish. Obviously I need to change the hyperlink. If I right click and go edit hyperlink I'm brought back to this area so I'm going to change it to slide number three which is wrong. I'm going to change the sound uh, to and voltage like electric shock, just <laughs> got it wrong. And I'm going to copy this, I'm going to paste it, and I'm going to change it to <coughs> a mammal. Okay, so when I run my presentation, if I click fish, it goes <laughs> and says I'm wrong. If I run it again, and I pick bird. Gives me applause and says I'm right. You can't hear the applause because I've got headphones on, but um, that does happen. So that's a question that we've got. Now what I can do here is I can select all three slides. Okay, I'm going to select all three slides, and I'm doing that by hitting the control key down and clicking each one. I'm going to copy them, and I'm going to paste them down here. So I've got the same question again. If I edit my hyperlink slide it, do, it doesn't jump to the new correct slide okay so I've got to be aware of that so I'm going to ask a new question and I'm going to say who won Euro 2012 so I'm going to start with Germany now that was my correct answer uh, so I'm going to edit the hyperlink here and I'm going to change that to my wrong answer but my second wrong answer and I'm going to change it to my noise so my voltage, I'm going to keep this one as wrong, so I'm going to have that as France, and I'm going to have this one, I haven't got a question mark up there, uh, I'm going to have this one as Spain, which is obviously the correct answer. Uh, edit that hyperlink, slide to the second correct, and then I need to play my applause, and OK. Now the problem is, that if I run this, for my first question, I get it right. That's great, it's correct, but I can't move on. 
okay particularly if it's browsed at kiosk I can't move on so I need a button here so I'm going to insert another button here and it's going to hyperlink to next question which is slide four and I'm going to edit my text and I'm going to put next question okay I'm going to copy that I'm going to put it here and I'm going to go to question so I'm going to make them have to re-answer the question I link that to uh, another slide and it's going to go back to slide one and on this one I'm going to leave it there on this one I'm going to paste I'm going to say question um, edit that hyperlink I'm going to put it sorry uh, in slide and it's actually already going back to slide four so that's fine and then for the last one I'm going to add a new slide in uh, on the home new slide and I'm going to put winner in there and let's uh, up here and get a picture of a trophy for instance number one these are pretty big trophies actually there let's have that one I'm going to copy that image I'm going to paste it there and there's my trophy for my winner so on this one I'm going to get this button again I'm going to paste it there and I'm just going to edit the hyperlink and this time I'm going to go slide and I'm going to go to my last slide which is my winner slide um, so it's a lot of hyperlinks actually but actually what you've got is a lot of slides a lot of hyperlinks but when I run it from the start what type of animals are Robin if I get it wrong I go back to the question, get it wrong again, back to the question. If I get it right, well done. Next question, go to the next question, get it wrong, back to that question, get it wrong, back to that question. Ah, see, I've linked it back to the wrong question. If I get it right, it goes to, clicks the link and goes to the winner. And now I've made a few mistakes there, you will notice. I haven't put you in there. On these ones, I haven't um, done that the wrong slide. Sorry, I apologise. So on this one, if I edit the hyperlink, that should go to slide four. So it must be one of these that I've put to the wrong. So that one I've put to the wrong, wrong slide. Okay, I've done the same with this one. Let's have a check. Edit hyperlink. No, I haven't put that to the wrong wrong slide. But there we go, we can have odd little issues with it. But when you're ready and you do it, you, you fill it in. You can then add another section. I could get that to another question. Have a correct and wrong, the wrong back to the question, the correct to the next question or to the winner. And just keep building up like that. It's, it's like building up a lot of pathways um, with a set of hyperlinks. And so you can extend your product by making a quiz. The only thing to remember in your products is when you get to the winner screen, you need a button back to the start of the product, otherwise the person is just left on winner and that is it. So have a go at adding a quiz.